Hello, good morning, law aspirants. We are here with a new series, a new class of vocabulary. I hope you are doing your vocabulary very well. The roots are helping you out. Your notebook is filled and in fact overloaded with words and words and words. And I got a very good response from the students that they are able to write down the roots. There are a lot of examples. You know, I told you in the last class also, you know, teachers job satisfaction is by the words like students say, ma'am, with AB we can uh, also make the word absolve and what about abjurate ma'am jur is also a root what about ac belly dem ben so you know when students come out and students are cropping up with new answers it self proves that they are taking interest in this they are interested in vocabulary and as i told you that vocabulary is the backbone of english if you really want to improve your english the best method is vocabulary so that's what i'm trying to insist here also that we are beginning with lot of uh, roots and things we'll be taking some 10 uh, 20 roots and after that we'll be taking up some books of CLAT consortium. Within uh, some these 20, 30 roots, you will yourself feel a difference. You will feel that you have learned approximately a plethora of words and it's a heap of words coming up your mind. Your mind is churning with new words, a lot of many words. So let's begin with our vocabulary section today and I hope you are eagerly waiting with your fingers crossed. Yes, so we are here. Beginning with our most important thing as usual, you are asked every day to do so. This is kind of repeated and it says practice makes a man perfect very truly said so you have to do a lot of reading every day you have to read at least five pages a day you are expected to read there shouldn't be any mugging or cramming because you know rote learners I told you, you know what happens to rote learners they are not able to attempt we need smart lawyers a cogent scintillating erudite learned lawyers right and slowly but consistently you win the game read fiction read editorial section read newspapers and Hindu newspaper is being analyzed every day Clat, uh, you know uh, law prep is offering you so many things you know to crack class and yes the success the crown of success will be all yours yes for vocabulary as we said words are the building blocks of a language it's very important that you know many new words many words have to be a part and parcel of your vocabulary series so in that case more and more words with one root 10 words 20 words should crop up in your mind it's very very important it will be a feather in your cap now <coughs> <coughs> vocabulary is very important for reading as we discussed that without reading comprehending the passage you are stuck you can't do anything the whole paper is in fact English paper even with the CR and the other things you have to have a command over the language whether it's logical reasoning or it's critical reasoning or it's English <coughs> your most important thing is understanding comprehending the passage and that passage comprehension can only be done when you understand it you have to understand there will be no dictionary no thesaurus so our purpose is to make you yourself a dictionary and a thesaurus right so vocabulary is very critical to reading success for three reasons since comprehension is the ultimate goal of reading most important thing you cannot overestimate the importance of vocabulary development unless and until you're practicing vocabulary every day you can't do so i've given you a long list of short stories essays novels i hope you're doing it i told you even divided it on the basis of the readers the readers who are very fast readers they should go for the novel section i've given you a lot of many list of the novels i had given you the list of the short stories and those who are very slow readers start with short stories it's interesting it's a lullaby for your mind and those who are moderate readers they should go for the essay section please watch the videos earlier that we have given long list of those essays short stories and novels for the time being start something from victorian novels because victorian novels were the uh, victorian period was the golden period of english literature which was considered the best time for the novel writing for the short stories got go for somerset and mom go for the classical things it's always the best and for the essays usually go for R.L. Stevenson go for Robert Lidge or go for Francis Bacon or Charles Lamb who is the prince of personal essays right so let's start with I hope your reading section is going on smoothly and if you are facing any doubts any problems do write to us so that we can respond back and we can let you know what are the problems that how can we tackle those problems 
Words are the currency of communication. As I said, a robust communication is a robust vocabulary depends on four areas, the four wheels of English, reading, writing, listening and speaking. These four make English a complete scenario. For this, David Wilkin argues that without grammar, little can be conveyed and without vocabulary, nothing can be done. So, in English, your vocabulary is your backbone. So, make your backbone so strong, so rigid, so firm, so determined you are in that, that you do not have to face any problem, right. Beginning with our route for today. Kata root, very simple root. I remember my chemistry teacher telling me, I am not a science student, I told you earlier too, it is not my cup of tea, but I do remember the word catalyst told by my teacher. Now, catalyst is not a, a kind of an um, atom or a molecule, it just makes the reaction fast, it breaks down the molecule. So, kata means down. Let us begin with these words. We will be doing ample words, but I told you every time the gist of the matter, the crux of the story is that you remember the root. Right. So, what is more important is the root. <coughs> so, what you have to remember is kata. Kata means down. Now, when we turn to catastrophe, there are three elements of any kind of reading, whether it is short story, essay, novel. That is, this is the mountain shape we draw. Uh, This is the mountain shape of any of this, it is just a rough sketch that I am doing for you. The first part of the story, this is called exposition, right. The twist and turn comes in the story in the climax and the downfall of events that is called catastrophe. This is division for any tragedy, drama, novel, story, fiction. These are the three elements that make it. This is the ascending order and this is the descending order. So, what is this root kata? You can see that clearly catastrophe that is downfall of events. This is the rise, the introduction is there. This is called the intro, introduction. This is the twist and turn that comes in the story that is why it is called the height of action and this is the downfall of events. Right. So, this means also called disaster from two roots here coming up these two roots here. <coughs> this means not, aster means star. Keep adding roots and roots and roots and you will start feeling the difference, yes. Now seeing uh, catastrophe is clear to all, I have explained to you from the literature angle all the three words, exposition, climax and catastrophe, introduction, height of action and the downfall of the events, right. This is also carrying with it two roots more, disaster that is this is not an aster, that means your stars are not working properly, something is not up to the mark. Coming up to the second word, catalogue, very simple word we all have heard. You know what is catalogue? It is a list of books which is divided, which is breakdown in a systematic order, maybe the science books or engineering books or on the basis of the publisher, some kind of a division of the books is done. That is a breakdown of the books that is explained, that is catalogue. Turning to next word, very common word from the chemistry section, catalyst, that is one I was talking of. When you break down the molecules and you cause the reaction fast, if I tell you, if I taking the word from chemistry, but I am applying it in day to day life, the teacher acts as a catalyst for your selection. Yes, you have your study material and you have yourself. The study material and the student, this reaction is made fast by whom? The catalyst. And who is this catalyst? The teacher, the mentor, the guide, the person who takes you to your path. So, we are going to act, law prep is going to act as your catalyst, uh, which will break down the molecules, all your doubts will be sorted out, all the doubts will dissolve and eclipse and the reaction would happen fast, that means you will get the fruits of your labor. Cataract, you must have heard two meanings of cataract, cataract is a large waterfall. So, you can take it the word down from up to down the waterfalls, so that is why it is a great waterfall. There is another meaning of cataract when your vision, which is myopia you must have heard of, there is a, uh, you know, your vision becomes very faulty, defective. 
downfall of your vision that is also ketna you can see the basic word that is coming out in all of these this is downfall of events this is breakdown of the books on the basis of some order this is breakdown of the molecules and this is falling down of water or falling down of vision i hope the point is clear to all of you yes and what is to be kept in the mind the back of your mind yes ketna means down very good this is just a single line which will keep you have to hammering in your mind and it will hit the nail on the head yes every time when you will remember you would see the word kata and the my words would echo in your mind that kata means down right i move on i hope you have copied it yes any problem any doubt you could please write it to me taking up the next case here catabases catabases is going down decline in health you're not healthy you have seen a uh, corona pandemic spreading and you know engulfing the whole world it is in fact something which pervades everywhere on this earth on this universe here so catabases is going down of your fall down of your health catacrisis is a misuse of words when you use a mixed metaphor what is metaphor see this is a literary device the word metaphor means comparison it is a comparison between two dissimilar things and without the use of like so or as she is a beautiful red rose this is a metaphor right so it's a mixed use of the word so you break down the words and you add more words to it and you make it a mixed match word usage and that are that is the word kata crisis right kata is down and crisis that is the words kata xylem it's a downfall sweep of the water the water flows that's a downpour sometimes we use also the word downpour for it heavy rainfall or it is flood or is disaster you can see this word rhyming up with the first uh, word also the first slide also i shown you the word right the word catastrophe that was also the same disaster so because it's a downfall sweep of water you remember what happened various natural disasters so it's the same that is catacomb next word catacomb catacomb is underground burial place you've seen there's a tomb i just tell you this is called the tomb right this is the grave of a person where dead body is put in right on the tomb it's written the words that are engraved they are called epitaph so catacomb is this burial place where the dead body is buried in christians or in any of the communities that is called catacomb catafalque not very commonly used but it's a platform for the coffin you know this dead body is kept in a box and that box is called the coffin so when it is placed in something of that sort that is called the word catafalque right taking up the next word from the word kata is the word catagenesis catagenesis is evolution going back not forward not moving forward but it's going back that is catagenesis you can also have the root jotted down for this gen is equal to class or race right so how did this race come into being and everything else is studied in catagenesis catalyst is a combination of uh, with the stars reaction right catagenesis kinesis is movement see the word kinesis this is used for movement so a state when energy is down energy is not that much that is catakinesis catalepsy is a nervous disorder which keeps limbs rigid lepsy ho jati laps so that means your limbs are not working properly catapult is an ancient apparatus for hurling stone it's used for throwing stones or something again in the sense of down even if you don't remember the word the gist of the matter again <coughs> kata would mean down taking up the last e example in this um uh, catatonia is a severe type of mental disorder your mind doesn't work so it's a in fact i would say a uh, downfall of the mind so this is tonia this is the mind systematic movement of the mind is not there catastasis take the word status this is a climax you remember i drawn the diagram for the climax yes so the other name for this climax is also called 
catastatus. Catasta is a platform in which slaves were shown for sale. You know, long back there was slavery system. Yeah, in that slavery system, slaves were put on a, a platform. This was called also called a pillar or there was also called a scaffold. So, the uh, display of the slaves which were bought and sold was done on that, right. I have taken a simple route for today that is kata. I hope you have jotted down the words and noted them and very important word out of them, we will act as a catalyst for you. Okay, students, thank you.